drink that revitalizes and detoxifies naturally. Soul offers you the opportunity to feel better and get help with many illnesses that may have overtaken your body. Visit their website at myrainlife.com forward slash God blessings and get all the information you need to let Rain Solution heal your soul. If you want to talk to Soul, call 954 696 8330 and begin your steps to better health. Rain International also has job opportunities that can change your life in seven different categories. Call today and get a healthy body, a healthy mind, and create a healthy bank account. 954 696 8330. Call today and let's make it rain. Times are tough, and right now those in the commercial world know that being heard via advertisements is the name of the game. AmpSquare.tv understands how important advertisement is and is proud to express that it's truly the only plugged-in internet television production company on the market. Amp2.tv live streams all their shows across all the major selling markets in the U.S. and abroad. Call them at 866-224-5422. The AmpSquare.tv library allows productions to be seen over and over again, making commercial platforms more usable. Call 866-224-5422. Toll free 866-224-5422. Amp2.tv, the first and only internet television network that's truly plugged in. 866-224-5422. That's A-M-P, the number two, dot TV. You say you need to lose weight for the holidays or just to stay healthy. Nothing seems to be working except frustration. The wait is over. Order your organic detox tea and resolution drops from the Weight Is Over company and start feeling better by shedding pounds. Not all detox systems are the same. Listen to those who have used the tea with fantastic results. Visit her website, totallifechanges.com forward slash 4219711 to get all the information you need to feeling better. Drink two cups a day and you too can lose five pounds in five days. Call today, 954-696-8330 and listen to testimonials about proper weight loss using the T. Ask about the opportunity to earn $50,000 by Christmas with a Total Life Changes business opportunity. Call today, 954-696-8330 and change your life today. This program is brought to you by the law firm of Altman, Flynn, and Kugler. We practice elder law and intellectual property, including patents, trademarks, and copyrights. If you would like to patent your idea, please contact our Fort Lauderdale office for a free consultation. Call 954-563-4814. That's 954-563-4814. Or visit us online at altmanpatent.com. That's O-L-T-M-A-N-P-A-T-E-N-T dot com. Spokesperson, not an attorney. What do you want to be when you're older? Hold on, this is like a deep question. Uh, when I'm older, I want to be a singer. That's, that's my goal. I'm not sure I want to invent the supercomputer, but I definitely want to build the supercomputer. I want to be an inspiration. An organizer of, of like, do-gooders. I want to be a veterinarian. I want to help out animals and work with them. I want to be a media mogul. It's- Rule the world. When I'm older, I want to be anything but the one that doesn't fit in, the one that people don't love. Everyone deserves a dream. Everyone. But some of us are depressed, anxious, scared, angry, alone, don't feel like ourselves. We can't even focus on the present, much less the future. If that's you, say something. It's okay to talk. It's okay to share. It's okay to get help or help someone. Talk to someone. It, it helps. And people, people will listen. Add your voice at oktotalk.org. Oktotalk.org. Brought to you by the National Association of Broadcasters. Talk health. Talk wealth. Talk politics. Talk 1470. WNN. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. It's the Holly Grove Show, starring Holly Grove. She was an event and party planner for seven plus years. Holly is currently an MC disc jockey and has been for the last six years. Holly knows how to get the party started and keep the party going. 
It's the Holly Grove Show. <laughs> Hi there. My name is Holly Grove. This is the Holly Grove Show. And welcome. I'm here tonight with Tracy Marks. Welcome, Tracy. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for <laughs> inviting me. And she's going to be talking with us tonight about the Indie Band Bash and Christmas Party Fundraiser. This is going to be taking place December 17th, and it's going to be at uh, Churchill Pub, and it's going to be located in Miami. So we're going to let her tell us a little bit about this event going to be taking place. Yes, well, thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity to come on your show. Absolutely, so, welcome. And you do music, and we're doing music, so that's where we're compatible. That's so. right, that's right. <laughs> um, what we're doing the fundraising for is for Student Services Society, and what Student Services Society is all about, our goal is to inspire and empower those that are struggling with student loan debt, enhance their quality of life and inspire social change. Along with that, we are attempting to educate 8th grade through 12th and their parents on the pitfalls of the student loan debt issue. So, okay. you have kids in college, I'm sure you understand a little bit about that. It can be yes. a very complicated process. Yes. So, what we're doing is we're having our first annual Christmas party band bash. We're doing indie style music. We're going to have 6 to 10 bands and um, then we're going to we're going to do individual um, artists in between. So they can just grab their guitar and come on up there and strum a little. <laughs> How are you going to be finding your bands? Well, um, I do have a promoter. His name is Charles Vasquez. He was in the business for many, many years. I've kind of yanked him out of retirement. I have a lot of people <laughs> that are really pulling together to help me get this started because we uh -huh. are a new company and we're getting ready to go nonprofit. So that's why we're doing this fundraiser. Um, so he's gotten a few bands. We have our headliner who is um, Sun Ghosts with an S, and you can find them at www.sunghosts.com if you want to check out their music. But aside from that, um, we are looking for a few bands. We do have a few slots to uh, fill, as well okay. as the individual artists we're looking for. So, um, okay. as I said, I pulled Charles out of retirement, <laughs> <laughs> and I've got, he knows, all the people in the business. Now, it's so funny because I used to go to Church Hills when I was in my 20s. It was when I first came back to Miami. Uh huh. Church Hills has been rocking the house down since 1979. And they are on board with the whole student loan issue. You know, that's uh -huh. something. They're, they're good community givers, Church Hills is. They've always been involved in the community. So when... Um, Charles went to them. He's been promoting. He promoted through there for years. Now he's just having fun playing bands. So I'm making him work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> he's donated his time, and um, Church Hills has donated their door. So we're going to. That's, um, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. And they have, they've totally redone the place. I mean, I, I've been, I was there five years ago last time. Um, so it was really nice. And then they, if we hit a certain threshold on the bar, they're going to give us that as a donation as well. Okay. So okay. They're a pretty awesome place. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. You say you are looking for a couple extra bands mm -hmm. and maybe individual singers. Well, how can people reach out to you? Well, they want to call Charles Vasquez because he's the one that's putting everybody together. Okay. And um, you can reach him at 305-331-7696. And um, he will have a listen at your music and you know he's we're still looking for for um I, at least three bands as far as i know oh wow you know wow so like we can have up to 10 okay so churchill's has been really cool about that so <laughs> i need to bust in a load of drinkers because i want to hit that threshold <laughs> now now i know that churchill's located in miami but an address an address yes they are at 5501 northeast second avenue and that's miami if you're gonna um map it uh, the zip is three three one three seven and um of course you know they could reach out to either one of us and we can or even call Charles 
Um, it's very easy to find, though. If you just Google Church Hills, it'll give you their menu, their calendar. You know? Well, that'll make it easy yeah. enough. So, and it's December 17th, and you have times on this? I do. We're going to start at 8 o'clock. It's going to run till 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, wow. That's yeah. a party. <laughs> so, well, well, we're hoping that, um, you know, all the bands have donated their time. Yep. But, you know, yes. and 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 it's really, I mean, to have Churchill's, who's been there so long, and to have my friend come out of retirement to help us put this together because it's beautiful. Yeah, we want to do the nonprofit status. We want to go to nonprofit because that'll, while we're putting all the things together, that'll give us the opportunity to give people tax write-offs. You know, and that's mm -hmm. really important. So we are going to be a C three, so they right. will be able to have a tax write-off. And then eventually we'll go into something like, you've heard of AARP. Mm -hmm. Some of the younger people yeah. might not know, but we plan on having memberships and, um, it, it, you know, we're, we're going to grow. We're going to have, we're going to work on campus with some of the colleges so we can get people actually starting doing what they love because the job market's just not what it used to be. Yeah, not at all. So, and people in the arts are really struggling, really struggling with mm -hmm. their student loans, you know. Mm -hmm. So exactly, <laughs> we got to teach people how to be entrepreneurs that are successful. That's exactly <laughs> what it is, too. <laughs> yes. Well, you are you're you're an entrepreneur. So you wanna I want to um, remind everybody that it's listen to win it. So please listen to win it when I give you the tune to call. Number nine is going to win last week's prize since we didn't have a winner. We uh, got stopped at caller number seven, Tracy. Oh, what happened? <laughs> they stopped calling at number oh. seven, so <laughs> we still have that prize. So guess what? <laughs> um, uh, family pack for bowling for two hours, uh, bowling shoes for family of five, a large pizza, and a pitcher of drink. So when I say listen to when it's time, please caller number nine. <laughs> oh, that's a great thing to do. Yeah, you like that? That. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I should have had my son call <laughs> every week. I mean, all you have to do is listen and dial the number and get the that. prize. I will do that. Jeez, it's free. <laughs> so, how did you actually start and in, in get involved in all this? Well, I started getting involved in all this when I was in college, and um, I was <laughs> sitting there with people that couldn't read. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> going, what's going on? Yeah. And then, you know, I started, I don't know, you start, when I, I'm one of the people, you start getting suspect, and then I start reading everything, you know, and I had extra t charges tacked on to my, you know, my, uh, what do you call it, my bill for school, so, and, and it just, and, and that, that was what started me looking, and I started looking into the money behind the schools and that type of thing, but then what really happened is when I got out of school, and the compound interest got added to my principal, and then I started paying, you know, so it's like you can never get out from under it, it's really hard, I personally paid 36000 of a $40,000 loan, and they want $50,000 for me right now. Wow. So wow. it's, people don't understand. People aren't just trying to get out of their school loans. They're, they're, they're having, there's other issues involved here. And there's a lot of political stuff going on behind it, and I am involved in that. I do do my own show here, actually. We Are the People, which is on Monday nights at 7 o'clock from 7 to 7.30, if you want to get more educated about that. Mm -hmm. Um but um, I, I need to do something more positive, you know, so that I want to inspire these people to get back out there because you get beat down with this whole debt situation after a while. And you really yeah. need a positive spin on it. And um, I realized I know so many people in music and we plan on doing lots of events with this company. And um, I hope to do a lot of music events because we do, I do know people in the music business. It's kind of like pulling everybody back together and then bringing in the young blood, which is really fun. So that's why uh -huh. we chose the indie bands, uh -huh. you know, and, um, you know, I'm an old rock and roller. I mean, Churchill's is too. I'm, Churchill's is so eclectic because you'll find people there that are 20 and then you'll find uh -huh. somebody there that's 65 yeah. And they're all rocking out together, so it's really... How, cool how is thing. it all set up? I've never been, so how well, is the setup? I, you know, I don't know if the setup's the same. I do know they have two stages now, and they've done a bunch of new mural work. Um, they're 
their food is reasonably priced. Their drinks are reasonably priced. You know, they're not overly expensive. Like I said, they've been rocking around for since 1979. And over so. a certain amount of sales, you'll get. Yeah, I'll even get that. If which that's is really awesome. great because the only thing I have to pay for is for the soundboard guys, and that's going to run me about a hundred hundred. That's awesome. Bucks, you know, depending yeah. on how many bands I have. So um, I'm really excited about it, and they're so super behind us. And um, you know, they're gonna they're gonna list things and the bands on the calendar. And if you go look at their calendar, you know, just Google them, and you'll see all their calendar. I mean, they 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 got all kinds of stuff going on all the time. So I'm looking forward to it. And it's funny, you know, they say life comes full circle. And when I came uh -huh. back to Florida, I was born here, but I came back when I was. Um, night well i was 18 it was 1979 and that was the year that they <laughs> opened and here i am starting a new business uh -huh. a new uh nonprofit, and i'm back <laughs> it's just kind of <laughs> funny that way you know it wasn't planned but it's turned out to be a really well, great thing it's certainly um a very rewarding um it's not rewarding as far as money goes but it's a rewarding yeah. job um for your heart it is you know it, is, it really you know and 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 the money doesn't matter so much anymore you know mm -hmm. i mean the debt it's there it's growing you know i find that when you reach out and help more people that mm -hmm. more comes back to you mm -hmm. so i'm not worried about it you know and then we'll have the political side going over there though there's plenty of people fighting that and i'll you know pitch in there where i can and when i can and you know five years down the road hopefully i'll you know we'll be able to set up a 527 and uh we'll get those garage <laughs> business things going on campus and we'll be rocking the house down we're planning on lots of music events for a long time to come yeah <laughs> <laughs> now is there going to be now i know there's going to be drinks at the event is there food oh uh, well they both they have an uh, they have a kitchen and a bar and um mm. on this one i'm sorry it's a fundraiser so we're you know we gotta we gotta take care of them somehow and let them you know they've got the kitchen and they've got and we've got part of the bar um you know one year i i hope to do it again and and provide all that but this is our first one yeah. and you know when i can have a big christmas party and invite everybody back you know and then the food will be on me but this year now do you have a website um we do have a website <laughs> and it's beautiful i must say <laughs> however they put in the rough draft information instead of the final draft information beautiful. so it is uh, student services society.org so you can go look at it it's pretty um however the real information that tells you all about who we are and then also has my gofundme is on uh, facebook so if you okay. look for Student Services Society on Facebook, there's actually two of them. Mine's got the Triple S logo. And um, that has all the information all about what we're doing and what we, what we have done. Well, not so much what we have done. You know, but I've been out. We've, we took a group to speak at FAU. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, you know, we're just, um, we're just going on day by day and putting it all together. So we want to educate the young kids too before they get into college and their parents because that's really important. So I'm working on getting in all the schools and um, it's, it's, it is rewarding. Yeah, very rewarding. So and again, everybody, Tracy is looking for bands yes, and absolutely. singers. And again, let them know how how can they get this opportunity to to help out. Yes, and and we will allow you, you know, to sell your CDs there. It's December seventeenth, so it's a great time for stocking mm -hmm. stuffers. <laughs> you know, so definitely come promote your music, and you'll want to talk to Charles Vasquez. Again, his number is 305-331-7696. Very, very, very nice. <laughs> okay, so um, again, that's going to be at Churchill, and that's located in Miami. Yes, yes 5501 Mi Northeast 2nd Avenue, and the zip is 33137. But you can Google it. It comes up right up on top. They've been here forever. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> All right. You got to come check it out. It's a part of old Miami. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So please definitely, guys, uh, do this. It's a great event. It's good charity. If you can either make it to the event or 
give your services to the event, one or the other, that'll be awesome. No, this is great. Tracy Marks joining me tonight. I appreciate you coming to Thank the show. You Thank for you for inviting me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Have a party or event coming up? DJ Holly Grove is the entertainment. The reason she comes so highly recommended is because of her experience and dedication to the success of your event. DJ Holly Grove is outgoing and fun-spirited. Holly will personally see to it that you and your guests have the best time ever. High-quality, professional DJ services at reasonable rates. Go to RainbowBrightDJ.com. That's RainbowBrightDJ.com. As a professional photographer since 1987, I have experience in listening to and providing for my customers' needs. I specialize in commercial and residential real estate photography services, as well as architectural and industrial photography. From product shots to business portraits, I treat every client and project with professionalism and care. My goal is to provide ultimate customer satisfaction. Please contact me for a quote on any project you may have. I pay close attention to detail and quality while offering reasonable pricing. I can provide images for web or print. My website provides private or public viewing of your proofs and the ability to order prints, enlargements, digital downloads, greeting cards, and hundreds of photo gifts from the nation's top labs, if you so desire. Ordering is easy and fast, and you have the ability to instantly crop photos to your liking. Please browse my site and return often to see my latest work. We offer professional drone photography and video services as well. Serving Martin County to Miami, I can be reached fast at my cell phone, 561-909-9902. Thank you. Hi, I'm DJ Holly Grove, and I'd like to tell you about an event going on at the Lake Worth Playhouse November 1st. Jennifer Lopez is going to be one of the judges. And you can get your tickets online at LakeWorthHasTalent.com. That's LakeWorthHasTalent.com. Remember to get your tickets and your benefits will go to the Children's Miracle Network. This is DJ Holly Grove reminding you to get your tickets for November 1st, either online at LakeWorthHasTalent.com or the Lake Worth Playhouse. To be a guest on The Holly Grove Show, please visit our website, hollygroveshow.com. Tell us about your experience in the events and party planning industries. That's hollygroveshow.com. Hi, welcome back to The Holly Grove Show. I'm uh, here with my party and event planner, <laughs> Danielle Mudler. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good. Hey, three more days to Halloween. Can it you is. believe it? I know. I know. And again, I still don't know what I'm going to be for Halloween. <laughs> but I've come prepared to talk about all sorts Look, of... Look, I'm a cat tonight. You are? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I told, I told Holly that this is my... Instant hipster costume. <laughs> <laughs> this is my costume for right now. <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> yeah, that's my do-it-yourself contribution for tonight. Now we can all go home. <laughs> so um, it was my son's birthday last week on the 20th, and we went over uh, to Legoland. Ooh. And they have this, um, it's like a little Halloween area for children, but it was, it, was, it was really a lot of fun to take him over to Legoland. They had a lot of stuff for the kids, and we also um, took them Halloween shopping last night. Oh, and, uh, must be so fun. Yeah, it was fun shopping. We tried on all the masks and stuff in the stores, so nice. we had a lot of fun doing so they, that. they pop out of corners with the masks on and, and yeah. scare you, or yeah. maybe the other, yeah. <laughs> the other patrons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my little son, you know the, the, I don't know the kids' names, you know, on these shows. Your kids? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, my kids, there are so many. <laughs> Stu, you know, the little kid with the big fat head or whatever yeah. on TV, Stewie. Stewie, from so the Family my Guy. Six Old. He's so tiny. He puts his head on. He's walking around the store with his Stewie. That's hat. funny. It was super, super cute. I think Stewie is like my little Chihuahua spirit animal. 
or vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do anything fun over the weekend or uh, I I did. I worked a um a bar mitzvah on okay. Saturday. It was an Xbox themed event. Okay. So we incorporated that with lots of lime green uplighting and um, like a black and white linen with the kind of the crosses like you know, the xbox okay, X yeah, on the remote yeah, yeah so it was a really elegant way to incorporate an xbox theme into a bar mitzvah yeah that's great that's really 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 cute yeah lo- i mean just the uplighting does a lot for every event you know and having that lime green and then we had the gobos projecting like um a logo we made for the little boy like with his name and the xbox uh-huh. remote worked into the logo and had that projecting on all the walls and did they have a cake like that they did not have a cake but that wouldn't that be cool like a <laughs> custom made remote control cake we can definitely do that <laughs> <laughs> um i want to let everybody know too if they have any um ha- halloween costume talk they want to call the show and yeah. tell us about or any uh good neighborhoods they maybe want to suggest to people mm-hmm. while danielle and i are on the show the number is 888-565-1470 that's 888-565-1470 and also if you have any questions for Danielle and myself for Halloween so do you have any um (laughs) thing to share with us Danielle yeah so (laughs) on the the spirit of last minute costume ideas (laughs) (laughs) um I got some really cool stuff uh one I have never seen before until recently is a jelly jelly bean bag costume so all you need for that is a clear trash bag Uh and you poke two holes in the bottom for your legs two holes in the sides for your arms and step inside of it fill it with colorful balloons (laughs) tie a ribbon around the neck i love it bag of jelly beans i love it what a great idea (laughs) yeah and it's it's simple and easy and it's a really great costume for for kids you know especially if you have a lot of kids you can mix them up with different size kids different <laughs> size <laughs> wear, wear clothing underneath them in yes. case your enemy wants to pop the balloon. oh no <laughs> <laughs> i feel like i just set somebody up for failure <laughs> no, just make sure they're good yeah you know what else is really simple too what for else? adults or little boys or little girls <laughs> zombie anything all you need is a pack of zombie makeup. You could be a zombie cat right now. Oh. I could be a zombie hipster. Okay. I mean, yeah. you can be a zombie anything. You just got to put on a little face makeup. Uh-huh. Um, one cool trick for that uh, that fake blood, if you're going to splatter it on your shirt or, you know, on your skin, is to do it with a toothbrush. So if you hold the, the pack of... Um, of the fake blood and you kind of disperse it with a just like squirt it out and disperse it with a toothbrush it breaks it up so it looks it gives it that splatter effect oh okay that's really mm-hmm. really cool yeah really really cool yes yeah, so i think like your demon costumes your zombie costumes your devil costumes <laughs> use that for all of it Okay, so is that all the costumes you have for I have, us tonight? I have like 50 costumes for you Oh my There's goodness. There's not enough time oh for all the costumes goodness. that I have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so do you want to, um, well, I'll just go over a couple like little safety tips. Yeah. Um, so just always keep an eye on your little one. If you have a little, little one and always trick-or-treat close to your house, they say, you know, with the younger ones. Mm-hmm. And remember that the older children come out later so it's good like right about six o'clock people are home from work and you can let them get their shoes off not at right at five you know like right. six o'clock and have your children home by about eight because the other kids really they're out about nine ten they're a little rougher they're a little bigger right you know and it's darker and you know how old would you say is too old to trick-or-treat like are we invited to the trick-or-treating you and I? <laughs> <laughs> I say absolutely if you can put a costume on and you can go to the door and you can enjoy the spirit why not and you know what i give the candy to the older teenagers and yeah. you know some people might get mad or whatever but you know, why well, break their spirit? Right. You know? Right. And so what? They're acting like a kid. They want candy, too. Exactly. You know? I, I want candy. It's good <laughs> to get something that, you know, someone gives you like that on a holiday. You know what I mean? Like, right. Right. And again, I like your, I like the part about not wanting to break the spirit of the holiday. 
and mm-hmm. Halloween. And I mean, there are some really, you know, of course, it's always adorable to see the kids in their cute costumes and little princesses and, um, you know, like the Transformers or Bumblebee Transformer costumes and the little boys. That's always really cute. But then there's some really great, you know, adult costumes and, and costumes for teenagers which should all be rewarded with candy uh-huh. <laughs> and, and you know we go to halloween parties and yeah i know they're a little wilder but why can't we just go have fun and go trick-or-treating <laughs> <laughs> well you still get to because you have kids so i think you get the pass you get the pass you just need your little empty pumpkin jack-o'-lantern <laughs> <laughs> bucket for candy and um other places to take your um children trick-or-treating or churches um entertainment like um the zoo has you know boo at the zoo or whatever little stuff like that malls you community know. centers um mm-hmm. going on you know your your local chamber of commerce website um fort lauderdale boca mm-hmm. uh, broward.org um you know miami dades um city website those are all good resources to find listings for places to bring your family mm-hmm um, also, I just want to say, too, you don't have to give out Halloween candy necessarily. You can also go get, like, the little eight-pack, you know, party favors. And you can give those out as treats. It doesn't have mm-hmm. to be candy. Mm-hmm. You know, no, they don't want an apple, and they don't want a box of raisins. Or a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> don't be the guy on the block giving out toothbrushes. <laughs> Don't be that guy. You run out of candy, you know, give the kids a dollar bill. Give them a quarter. Give them, you know, then they can buy a gumball out of the machine at a later date. But just to say I don't have candy, that's not cool. But, I mean, if you don't want to celebrate it, I get it. Just shut your light off and stay in the house. Just respect that other people are trying to have fun and that you're one moment of, being mean or shutting the light off or you're not understanding they're celebrating or whatever can actually affect them for life sure they can actually remember that moment sure but i think too you know um also the parents who are with the kids or the older children who are out by themselves if someone has their light off or you know there's no decorations outside that they stay away should stay away should also be respectful that you know someone isn't home or maybe they're at their own party or they have their kids in another neighborhood trick-or-treating that's you know? right that's right. Mm-hmm. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> so it works both ways. <laughs> <laughs> so where, what are your plans for Halloween now? Go ahead, tell me. Um, I don't, unfortunately, I don't have any of my own plans. Still I think, yet? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be, um, I'll probably be managing some, some different events. Oh. Yeah. So I might actually be going as a hipster to, <laughs> oh, to our, really? yeah, to, um, to our company's um, oh, events okay. we have going on this weekend. Um, I'm going to plug that company right now. <laughs> um, actually, all the costumes that, um, you know, you and I talked about and some that I mentioned on air as long as, as well as others um, can be found on our website blog. That's mm-hmm. stagedrightevents.com, staged with a D, right <laughs> events with an S. Um, And also I have some cool uh, recipes up there as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Did I, uh, I don't think I told you this before. Something really simple that can be used for dips or for multiple Uh multiple food items. Um, You take a yellow or an orange bell pepper Uh and you can kind of carve it out the way that you would a Uh jack-o'-lantern and fill it with like spinach dip or you can bake it with chili or soup or something inside and then you have like like a Halloween. mm -hmm. Mm, That's a great idea. So that recipe and a bunch of others are are also on our blog. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what else? Well, if, we're, if you want to um, pull, throw in one more fun recipe. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, since we're here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so really simple. It's not necessarily a recipe, but for your drinks, especially for your grown-up uh, Halloween parties, gummy worm ice cubes. So you take an ice cube tray the way that you would make ice cubes and just throw some gummy worms in there and then <laughs> freeze them. And when you pull the ice out, you have all these gummy worms inside. It makes for like a fun, spooky little treat or an add-on to your cocktails your cocktail parties you can float them in a bunch of punch oh my goodness you know i don't drink but 
I watch that, you know, bar rescue or whatever. Yeah. Uh, there's so much, like, food and drinks. Like, why don't you just order food and have a drink? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not being judgmental if that's what you people do. Put your steak in your cocktail. That's great. <laughs> Throw a couple potatoes in with a straw. Beautiful. Just not my forte. <laughs> not yours. <laughs> you know, they have those Bloody Mary contests with all the different oh, add-ons and ingredients. Uh, but I did see a Bloody Mary with like a lobster claw on side. Ew. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope more people are watching this so they can see your face right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Oh, I think it sounds awesome just because I really like it. You can put lobster on anything. I mean, <laughs> it's like cool take it. to like look at, but no, I wouldn't. No, 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 to drink, no. I'm yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit too much. <laughs> yeah. Also, I want to let you people know that it's shout out. So if you have someone you would like to say congratulations to, happy birthday to, please call the show. 888-565-1470. That's 888-565-1470. Um, call the DJ Holly Grove show. Right now I have uh, Danielle. She is a party and an event planner. And uh, we're giving you our final tips on Halloween because next month we're going to be talking a whole lot about Thanksgiving. Yeah. And then we're going to go a whole lot into Christmas. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> and then New Year's. And then it's 2016. <laughs> it's crazy. I just rang the new year in. Like, yeah. hello. Yeah, I know. And I always say, you know, once we get past Halloween, that's it. That's After it. Halloween, I mean, Christmas decorations are already out. Mm -hmm. And then it's Thanksgiving. And then it's Christmas. New Year's done. It's January. Uh -huh. Hello, mm -hmm. 2016. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, you know, you can never recover financially from it all. Not until, and by the time you do, it's already the next holiday season. It is. <laughs> and then you've got all the birthdays in between that kill you and the Mother's yes. Day and the Father's Day and then Amen. this day. That keeps event and party planners in business. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about it. Bring on the bar mitzvahs and the weddings in between. <laughs> I mean, we we do we love that stuff, but I you know I don't like it on my end. You know I like being hired as. Like right, that. right. My whole family just ah. Uh, so as far as my children, um, we're gonna go probably around my neighborhood. Yeah, just I don't do the mall thing. Um, I would rather just really just buy them each a bag of candy, you know. So the bags yeah. are like two fifty. <laughs> just no, like, I know, but it's all about the experience, though. You know, yeah. like we've already done that, and and now it's our turn to pass it on to our children and nieces and nephews. You know, the the, pa the passing of the torch, <laughs> one might say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I noticed that you know the mall, they only give like. Peppermints and stuff like that. I, I don't like the candy as well. Okay. You know, I think I like the neighborhood candy. What do you think? You I see, like I go through my children's bag and I pick out the good stuff. So. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you want to pick your own candy. I got to pick the neighborhood and the spot, too. <laughs> yeah. You know, the I think that the mall and the community centers and all of that, those are really great options for people who don't necessarily live in housing developments or neighborhoods, but you can think the more... Um, more urban areas with the high rises and all that if they don't have something going on inside their building the malls and, and community centers churches are a really really great option but personally i mean i like to see the different houses decorated mm -hmm. and just like you know just at christmas or anything and walk mm -hmm. around and wander around the neighborhood and see everyone else's costumes it's so beautiful even for like halloween costumes they're so like just to see the kids walking and right. then to see the houses with the lights and stuff yeah. like that. You know, you're but right. For uh, for the grown-ups, though, it's kind of reversed because you almost want to be in that urban street area where you can uh -huh. walk and, like, you know, downtown Miami or, or downtown, like, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Los Olas, and that way you get to see a lot more people and a lot mm -hmm. more costumes because the, right. the people watching on Halloween is the best. Mm -hmm. It's the best. <laughs> they got some pretty um, cool costumes out there. Pretty cool costumes. I I've been to City Place a couple years, and it's been uh, Oktoberfest. You been there? No. You've never been there? No. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of fun. Yeah? Well, you have to remember, Holly, I'm a little new to South Florida. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Not too new. I've been here for a year and a half, so I should probably start oh, saying no, that's I'm new. No, <laughs> that's new. That's very new. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, it's this thing that takes place down a city place, and everybody walks around in their costumes and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of like, you know, what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, the, like, you know, again, this is definitely for an uh, over-21 audience. Oh, yeah. Yes. By um, by about midnight, everything gets real. <laughs> 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 the heels are coming off the girls and... <laughs> costume doesn't look as put together as it did a few hours earlier yeah yeah no i remember when i went um i haven't been back (laughs) (laughs) well you'll be around your neighborhood this year (laughs) but it was very memorable and it was a lot of fun Mm -hmm. and i would do it all over again i just don't think i would live through the experience again (laughs) 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 all right everyone this is danielle Mulder, um our party and event planner here on the show of course um she's with stage right stage right events events so if you ever need to get a hold of her you can go ahead and give them their your information yep they um you can call staged right events that's s-t-a-g-e-d right events with an s at 954-404-8252 my name is danielle (laughs) all right Have a party or event coming up? DJ Holly Grove is the entertainment. The reason she comes so highly recommended is because of her experience and dedication to the success of your event. DJ Holly Grove is outgoing and fun-spirited. Holly will personally see to it that you and your guests have the best time ever. High-quality, professional DJ services at reasonable rates. Go to RainbowBrightDJ.com. That's RainbowBrightDJ.com. As a professional photographer since 1987, I have experience in listening to and providing for my customers' needs. I specialize in commercial and residential real estate photography services, as well as architectural and industrial photography. From product shots to business portraits, I treat every client and project with professionalism and care. My goal is to provide ultimate customer satisfaction. Please contact me for a quote on any project you may have. I pay close attention to detail and quality while offering reasonable pricing. I can provide images for web or print. My website provides private or public viewing of your proofs and the ability to order prints, enlargements, digital downloads, greeting cards, and hundreds of photo gifts from the nation's top labs, if you so desire. Ordering is easy and fast, and you have the ability to instantly crop photos to your liking. Please browse my site and return often to see my latest work. We offer professional drone photography and video services as well. Serving Martin County to Miami, I can be reached fast at my cell phone, 561-909-9902. Thank you. Hi, I'm DJ Holly Grove, and I'd like to tell you about an event going on at the Lake Worth Playhouse November 1st. Jennifer Lopez is going to be one of the judges. And you can get your tickets online at LakeWorthHasTalent.com. That's LakeWorthHasTalent.com. Remember to get your tickets and your benefits will go to the Children's Miracle Network. This is DJ Holly Grove reminding you to get your tickets for November 1st, either online at LakeWorthHasTalent.com or the Lake Worth Playhouse. To be a guest on the Holly Grove Show, please visit our website, HollyGroveShow.com. Tell us about your experience in the events and party planning industries. That's HollyGroveShow.com. Hi, welcome back to the Holly Grove Show. My name is DJ Holly Grove. I'm with Chef Elisa. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. (laughs) Um, She's going to be talking about some appetizers for your Halloween party. (laughs) So for folks that are getting ready for a Halloween party, I know that they want to get their um, appetizers set in advance. Mm -hmm. And so planning out the buffet table is pretty important. This year I'm doing something really fun. And I'm doing a cadaver table. Okay. So what that involves is an old pair of jeans, um, an old shirt, and uh, some stuffing. 
Okay. So you're going to, let's say, stuff it the way you would a, a straw man, per right. se. So you start the body and then cut open the jeans at the legs and in the center. And imagine in the middle of the body um, some nice, delicious maple sausage with a nice maple syrup on top that kind of looks like intestines. Okay. And then go up to the body <laughs> and still have you know, meat, just meat trays and things of that nature that you can just tuck into the shirt. So uh, when people come up to the table, it's almost like they're eating from an autopsy table. Oh, okay. So that would be a fun <laughs> way to present. <laughs> yeah. Dry ice is also another really great thing to use for Halloween parties. Okay. Um, most of the local grocery stores carry it. I know the Publix is around my area carry it. And um, it's just important not to actually touch it with your hands because it will burn your skin. Okay. And you don't want to put it in a drink that mm -hmm. you serve a guest. So what I like to do is I like to stuff it into just the, um, um, in cups in my, in my bar, in, in, in my ice bin. So the smoke is coming from the bartender and, and all right. of that, right? right? So it makes it nice and spooky. Hey, that's cool. I like that. And then, of course, you can always color um, uh -huh. corn syrup red uh -huh. and dip a uh, martini glass in it, turn it upside down, and it'll look like blood is dripping from it. Uh huh. This is a great time for black vodka and okay. black Dracula drinks. Okay. So Halloween is a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite holidays. <laughs> it takes up about a third of my warehouse as far as like decorations because of the the fun decorations that can, you know, be, you know, brought on to parties and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted to let everybody know right now it's Listen to Win It. So if you call the show right now and you're caller number nine, you're going to win the prize. And that is a family pack for two hours of bowling. Uh, five family members get five shoes to bowl, a large cheese pizza, and a pitcher of drinks. So if you're caller number nine right now on the Holly Grove Show you will win the prize. So I want to ask you, how did you become a chef? My mom couldn't cook. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I believe it was survival instincts that kicked in at the tender age of 13. Oh, wow. Although my mom was a magnificent mom and found a tutor for me. Um, that was a, a CIA grad, a Culinary Institute grad from the Cordon. Uh, I'm sorry, the Cordon Bleu grad uh -huh. from from France in our okay. neighborhood. So once a week, I went to this woman's house and um, learned how to make sauces and all of the base mother sauces and all of the base French cooking techniques. And I didn't really know it, but I was actually doing her production for her catering business. So that was uh -huh. kind of a smooth move on her part, right? Yeah. She's charging for a class, but I'm really unpaid or I'm, I'm paying her to do her work. Right. Sweet deal. I got to work that out. Yeah. <laughs> Learned a yeah. lot. And then my graduation from her was um, at the age of 15. She got a, a call for a wedding. Uh -huh. That was kind of last minute. And um, she was already booked and she said, I can't do it, but I have a student who can. So then she sat down with me and she worked through my menu and I did my first drop off catering at the age of 15. Oh, wow. That was awesome. I was hooked ever since. Really? I, I still have the crepe pan that I bought from the Prophets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do. Aww. And I just got hooked. Cooking and that, that physical process, that artistry that happens between um, touching the food and cooking the food and then, of course, the reward mm -hmm. from hearing people enjoy your food. Right. I like to say I, I make Jewish women make noises their husbands have never heard. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, you know, men's head will just tip like a dog here and a sound too high. Like, what? Was that for my wife? Yeah. Like, yes, exactly. <laughs> so um, just that reward process, I think, was, was really important um, to to convince me to, to continue to work hard on, on my craft and on my skills. Yeah. Now, we have Halloween coming up here. I know. My favorite. <laughs> All-time favorite. I think it's all about um, food coloring and, and lights and, and illusion. You know, anything that you have in your house um, or anything that you, that um, different lighting, putting LED lights under linen and putting 
um, the spider webs over things, um, creating that illusion is really what the fun is, and people just love that. Yeah. I know, how, I know that you do private parties, yes. private events. How do people reach out to get a hold of you? Well, I do have a website, and it's chefalisascatering.com. Okay. And I'm also on Facebook. It's Chef Alisa's Catering on Facebook. And I am also on Thumbtack. Now, if you haven't heard of Thumbtack, it's a lead service for um, um, locals to reach out to all sorts of kinds of, of small businesses and mid-sized businesses to really stimulate the hire your neighbor, have a, you know, the local economy, stimulate that. So I'm, I have 23 five-star reviews on, on wow. Thumbtack now. <laughs> Wow, is that the only one that you're on Thumbtack? Is there That's any? the only lead service that I'm on, but yeah. there are more reviews on Yelp as well, more five-star reviews oh. on Yelp. Are there other lead services that you, you know, know I I haven't found any other lead services mm -hmm. really that um, are as effective as Thumbtack because the um, that style of lead service is great because it tells you how much the customer is interested in purchasing on a party. Let's say they have a party for 100 people and they want to spend 30 to $40 per person mm -hmm. or they want to spend 10 to $20 a person. That gives a caterer a phenomenal opportunity to tailor the menu that's going to suit that client's budget and you don't have to do this back and forth, you know, with how much, you know, is this party going to cost and, and, and you just, that doesn't exist anymore in the dynamic. So I really do like that lead service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah, it's super effective. And now I was saying um, it's Halloween, and I yes. I hear that you have a little something to keep some pounds off. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I have a um, a snack that's great for grown ups and kids. It's called a snack bite, and it is made with organic nut butters and. Uh, uh, brand name proteins. I name the protein manufacturers on each flavor because each flavor uh, profiles a different style of protein, whether it's whey protein isolate or vegan proteins, mm. depending upon what that what that customer wants to wants to put in their body. And um, the snack is sold online at wholesomemeal.com as well as in 30 stores. And here in Boca, it's sold at the Healthy Way. Um, which is Marshall's store just down the road, and he's awesome. Wow! And and what are they exactly? I mean, they like are a, a a snack that basically checks off all the marks for nutrition. So it's got uh, four grams of protein, four grams of carbs, and four grams of fat. So it's a fully balanced snack. And with my private work that I've 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 established in my celebrity clientele. When I work with athletes, the balanced nutrition is really important for satiating the appetite. So one snack bite is about um, 50 calories, and the idea is I eat one or two, and then I am now satisfied, I'm satiated, and I am comfortable um, not devouring my work. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> and so they come in a, in a, in a handy tube, that mm -hmm. you can put the cap right back on. There are six servings in a tube. And so one tube will typically last me a couple of days, two, three days. And it's that whenever my blood sugars drop, you know, start to drop, we all should be eating every three hours. We all should be nourishing our body about every three hours. And because of life, work, mm -hmm. you know, busy, busy, um, we don't always get that opportunity. And I will tell you, this snack has saved me from many, many, many a drive-throughs <laughs> yeah. where I was yeah. going to lose my mind because my blood sugars are dropping. I have to put something in, and boom, this is in my purse, and it's ready to go. And uh, so they're delicious. I have six flavors. And, uh, you know, what how are many? all your flavors? Uh, flavors are <laughs> sunny citrus, mo which is made with sunflower seed butter, and it is a vegan flavor. And then mocha chia almond, which is also vegan with organic almond butter and uh, vegan protein from MRM. And then I have um, peanut butter, which is whey protein isolate and uh, also from MRM and chia chocolate, which is also a chocolate peanut butter, kind of a Reese's peanut butter cup, but with chia seeds. Uh -huh. And um, vegan cran almond, which uh -huh. is uh, um, 
another another delicious flavor. And I, the running joke is, how many flavors does it take for a chef to lose 80 pounds? Six. <laughs> so, through my weight loss journey, uh -huh. I'd be like, oh, man, I need a new flavor. So I'm kind of hitting that, too. I'm going into uh -huh. season, and I'm, I'm looking for something interesting as well to get me through the holiday season so that I don't put on, you know, the the... 10, 20 pounds that I could so easily do. Mm -hmm. All I have to say is thank God there isn't a Thanksgivinga this year. <laughs> that one tore me up. <laughs> that was intense, man. That was like seven days of massive, massive food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want everybody to be able to... Also, Chef Elisa is going to be joining us uh, on the Holly Grove show, she will be our chef here. So, <laughs> yay! <laughs> so, welcome to the Holly Grove Thank show you. permanently. This will Thank be you. your home. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, I want her to go ahead and give you her information again because we do have one more minute. And we have to wrap it up for the evening. This way, if in between time we don't see her you can at least have her information now also we are going to be putting her photo up on our website with her information as well so you can go on our website as well and then you can look up miss elise okay <laughs> you can always find me at my website which is chef elisa's catering.com or my other company where the snack bites are wholesome meal.com and both of those you can hit me up on twitter instagram facebook and uh, and you know it'd be great is is to if anybody has questions about Thanksgiving, we're you know start sending them in now, and I'd love to structure um, what what people need to know about this year for Thanksgiving. That's perfect, send perfect. Any questions for Thanksgiving? It's the Holly Grove Show at gmail dot com, and then we can ask Chef Elisa next time she's on the show. All right, well we have to go. Thank you for joining us. Chef Thank you Lisa. again. It's my pleasure. And uh, y'all at home have a great night, safe night, and we'll see you next Wednesday. Have a party or event coming up? DJ Holly Grove is the entertainment. The reason she comes so highly recommended is because of her experience and dedication to the success of your event. DJ Holly Grove is outgoing and fun-spirited. Holly will personally see to it that you and your guests have the best time ever. High-quality, professional DJ services at reasonable rates. Go to RainbowBrightDJ.com. That's RainbowBrightDJ.com. As a professional photographer since 1987, I have experience in listening to and providing for my customers' needs. I specialize in commercial and residential real estate photography services, as well as architectural and industrial photography. From product shots to business portraits, I treat every client and project with professionalism and care. My goal is to provide ultimate customer satisfaction. Please contact me for a quote on any project you may have. I pay close attention to detail and quality while offering reasonable pricing. I can provide images for web or print. My website provides private or public viewing of your proofs and the ability to order prints, enlargements, digital downloads, greeting cards, and hundreds of photo gifts from the nation's top labs, if you so desire. Ordering is easy and fast, and you have the ability to instantly crop photos to your liking. Please browse my site and return often to see my latest work. We offer professional drone photography and video services as well, serving Martin County to Miami,